Today here at Nate's Interactive Auto, we're going to use this STP Ultra Fuel System Cleaner. We're going to see if this stuff actually works. It has a lot of claims and I've heard a lot of great things about it. It says, our most advanced formula ever. So, deep cleans entire fuel system, lubricates engine parts, reduces friction, has a high concentration of PEA, high performance detergents, corrosion inhibitors, ethanol deposit inhibitors, jet fuel. So let's go ahead, go inside the engine, take a look at these intake valves and see just how bad these valves really are. There's definitely a lot of carbon buildup and you're gonna be shocked at what you see. So I want you guys to let me know before we run this product through the fuel tank, do you think it's actually gonna work or is it not built up to the height, the claims of STP? Well, stick around and find out. Here we are at the first observable valve for STP Ultra. Now do you think it can definitely handle this challenge? Well, I'm not so sure. It's a tall task for it, but let's go ahead and move on to the second observable valve. Well guys, here we are at the second observable valve and these guys are definitely bad. Yeah, I'm not sure any product could handle this. So let's go ahead and move on to the third observable valve. The third valve, well, this one's just as bad as the rest. Let's go ahead and move on to the fourth valve. There's a lot of carbon buildup. You think that it'll actually help this valve gunk? Make sure you recommend any other products that you think would be a great product to try and clean these intake valves. This STP Ultra Fuel Cleaner states to pour contents of the bottle into a half empty tank and then fill up the rest of the way up to 35 gallons. So let's go ahead and add this to our tank. All right, now that we've run all that fuel out of the tank, is there actually going to be any good results? Guys, if you want to see your video idea brought to life, just remember to subscribe to the channel and comment below, and we'll bring your video idea to life in one of our next upcoming tests. Now, I'm finally ready to see just how well this stuff did or did not work. So, let's take this borescope camera and go inside the engine. All right, and here we are back at the first observable valve. Well, STP did make some difference. I'm definitely surprised at that. Let's go ahead and move on to the second valve. Notice any carbon reduction? Well, let's go ahead and move on to the third valve. What about this valve? Can we see a difference? Let's go ahead and move on to the fourth observable valve. Surprisingly, I can definitely see a difference on this one. Well, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what you think or what you want to see next. So, until then guys, get ready to get wrenching for the next upcoming video and thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.